can't believe the amount of money that this company is making on this job alone. I know, this is insane. Ah, I hate counting each and every part we use on these installs. There are so many of them, it's not like they cost that much. I'll just kind of estimate how many we use. So what if we're off by a few? They're cheap enough? Yeah, we'll just throw out these few unused parts. It's no big deal. It's not like the company will lose money on these few unused parts after what they charge for this job. Plus, that way we don't have to put them all away. Ah, so it's got a few scratches. Just throw it on the truck. It's no big deal. There's plenty back at the shop where that thing came from. So, the boss is getting rich. I can't believe we're charging our customer that much per hour. Man, the boss is getting rich for all, from all the work that we're doing. These are all comments that we hear on a regular basis from technicians in the field. I was there. I remember it. We would install a job that the company sold for $15,000. Can you believe the company made $15,000 on a single job? Incredible. Well, maybe that's not the whole story. Maybe, just maybe, there are a few costs that chew up some of that $15,000. So, those parts really don't matter, do they? They don't cost that much in the big picture, do they really? I mean, think about the big scheme of things. Well, let's dig into this a little bit. If we don't account for the cost of all the material used on a job, how much more do we need to sell in order to make up the cost of those parts? The math is actually pretty easy. You can easily calculate how much more you need to sell by dividing the cost of the unaccounted for material by your company's net profit. If the cost of the unaccounted material is $50 and your company's profit is 3%, then you would simply divide the $50 in parts by 3% or 0.03 and you'll find that you would need to sell an extra $1,666 in additional jobs just to make enough profit to cover the cost of the material that was not accounted for. Oh, and that next $1,666 in sales will be at zero profit since the profit we would have made will be going towards covering the cost of those unaccounted for materials. The company profit is 3%. The next question I would have to ask is, is 3% a realistic profit? Well, the national average net profit is 3% to 5% net. This means that the company only made 3% of that $15,000 job, not the whole $15,000. Also, remember that this is the average. There are many companies that are making a lot less than this. If your company is only making 1% net profit, the math looks a lot worse. In this case, it looks like this. $50 in unaccounted for parts divided by 1% or 0 0.01 equals $5,000. And just like before, that next $5,000 in sales will be at zero profit. Let's look at another example. If we had that thermostat or that fixture that was rolling around in the back of the truck, no longer in the box, now it's scratched and we really can't sell it to a customer. The cost of that thermostat is $250. If our net profit is 3%, the math is $250 divided by 3% or 0.03 telling us that we will need to sell an additional $8,333 in additional jobs to cover the cost of that damaged thermostat. If your company's profit is 1%, that means $250 divided by 1% or 0.01, we would have to sell an additional $25,000 in extra jobs. Still not convinced? Let's run a different scenario. The typical trades company has a revenue per billable hour of somewhere between $120 per hour and $175 per hour. This means that for every hour the company bills out, the company will bring in somewhere between $120 and $175 per hour. And your company needs every bit of that money in order to survive, to pay its bills, to cover your payroll, and hope to make a profit. When you come into the shop in the morning and you enjoy the time with the rest of the crew, just kind of catching up on what they did over the last evening or the last weekend or the job they worked on yesterday. I know that you're eventually shooed out of the shop and, and, and getting out to the jobs. Well, how much time did you spend in the shop shooting the breeze? 30 minutes? 45 minutes? 
Well, at 45 minutes, that's three quarters of an hour. If your company has a revenue per billable hour of $150 per hour, and your company net profit is 3%, that means that 45 minute cup of coffee in the morning will need a whole lot of extra sales just to cover it. $150 per hour times 0.75, or three quarters of an hour, equals $112.50. If we take that $112.50 divided by our 3% net profit, we will have to sell another $3,750 to cover that time. Oh, wait, that's right, there's five of you. That means that we have to multiply that $3,750 by five, and that equals $18,750. We'll need to sell another $18,750 in extra work to pay for that 45 minutes for the team to get together in the morning, and that's every day. Now that's an expensive cup of coffee. Okay, one last one. Remember that job that you installed a few months ago that the customer never paid the company for? You didn't get a dime for it. Well, work the numbers. The job sold for $6,500. What's the math? $6,500 divided by 3% equals a whopping $108,333. Stop and think about that for a minute. $108,333. How many jobs is that? And that next $108,000 in jobs will be at zero profit because the profit was lost covering the job that you didn't get paid for. Sound painful? Well, it is. It cuts into the company revenues. It cuts, it cuts into the company's profits. It cuts into the possibility of the company giving you an increase in pay. Besides that, it's like it's getting your foot stuck in a hamster wheel. You need to keep going around and around and around, and you really don't gain anything. When you experience a loss, you need to get those extra next sales just to make up for that loss. We're all getting stressed and overworked doing work that we're really not making any money on. Account for every minute of the day, every part that's used, every part on your truck, every usable part left over on a job, and negotiate proper payment terms on every job so that you get paid when the job is completed. Doing this will make your company more profitable and your time at work much more enjoyable. Now, go make a decision to make it a profitable day.